Every year, new roller coasters open at theme parks all around the world, but today, instead of looking at the coasters, I'll be counting down my top 10 most anticipated theme parks opening in 2022. Number 10, SeaWorld Abu Dhabi. The first theme park to make the list is also the first international park to be built by SeaWorld Parks and Entertainments. And by the concept art, this is looking to be one very interesting theme park. It will hold two roller coasters, with the most notable being an intimate launch coaster. And so far, we don't know much about the layout, but it'll still be a great addition along with the park itself. And the reason why I call this park interesting is due to being very different to the other three SeaWorld parks in North America. So over the last five years, the SeaWorld Parks and Entertainment Group has been focusing more towards a theme park than an animal park. And in my opinion, I think this was a great move. However, SeaWorld Abu Dhabi will be the opposite, and making it more of an animal park. However, the theme park will still have some coasters, and that's the reason why it will come in at the number 10 spot. Number 9, Fanta World. The second theme park from Asia to make the list is arguably going to have one of the best roller coasters in the continent, and that's due to it being a Vekoma Top Gun launch coaster. And so far, only two of these have been around the world, but even though the pacing doesn't look great, I'm sure that it will still be an amazing roller coaster. But what else does Fanta World have to offer? When this theme park is in 2022, it will hold one other roller coaster with possibly some flat rides, but where this theme park really has its strengths is within the theme. Fanta World will be themed all around the Chinese culture and from some other parts owned by the same company. It looks like this will be the highlight for most guests. So with this theme and also one of the continent's best roller coasters, there is no doubt that a lot more enthusiasts will be making their way out to China in the near future. Number 8, Fanta Animation Park. Another theme park owned by Fanta World is going to be opening up in 2022. This Chinese theme park is going to have a very similar theme to the number 9 spot, which is going to be based all around the culture. In my opinion, this is a great way to show what the park has to offer and also what the country has. However, this isn't the only thing which Fanta Animation Park is going to offer, and that's due to them getting the first ever Vekoma Renegade. This is shaping up to be one of Vekoma's best creations, and by no means it's going to be the tallest or fastest. However, what really stands out to me are the inversions. These are very similar similar to something which you'll find on RMC, so if this isn't enough of a reason to head out to China, just look straight toward the air time and a trip to this theme park will be more than worth it. Number 7, Oriental Heritage. Just like the last two parts on the list, this theme park will also be themed around the traditional Chinese culture. However, what makes Oriental Heritage stand up from the rest are the roller coasters, one of which is going to be a Vekoma Space Warp, and in my opinion, this looks slightly better than the Renegade model, and that's due to it giving a bit more airtime. But the other coaster of the park will be a Vekoma Family Boomerang, and this will be your standard 208m model. However, I wouldn't be surprised if they're going to invest into a Gravity Group wooden roller coaster later on down the line. But apart from the roller coasters, this park's going to be very similar to the other Oriental Heritage theme parts in China, so overall this is going to be a great theme park when it opens in 2022. Number 6, Fantasy Valley. Owned and operated by the OCT Group, when this theme park opens in 2022, it will hold three different roller coasters, and even though it's low in quantity, the quality will more than make up for it. The first coaster would be an a wing coaster. This will likely be the highlight of the park, and may even have a chance of being the best wing coaster. The second coaster will be a GCI Woody. This coaster will be the same as you can find at two other parks, including Six Vars St. Louis and also Powerland. And even though this is going to be a middle of the road GCI, it will still give the park a great top two. And the final coast will be a mine train. And even though this is nothing to shout about, the theme and uniqueness will more than make up for it. So if you're visiting China, make sure to add Fantasy Valley to your bucket list. Number 5 Ocean Flower Island Fairyland. The fifth Chinese park to make the list will have a total of four roller coasters. I'm not going to go into much detail with the coasters, however, the park will have a Vekoma Fast Storm and also an SNS 4D free spin. But what makes this park so special is the theming. To start off with, the way they use the walkway in between the coaster track is something which you will find on Tarana Fantasyland, but also not to mention the size of the park. We don't have an exact size yet, but from the concept art, it looks like this could be one of the biggest theme parks in China. So if you're a fan of theming but also also a fan of coasters, make sure to get yourself out to Ocean Flower Island Fairyland in 2022. Number 4 Lost Island Theme Park this new theme park is going to be located in Iowa it's going to have a total of 3 roller coasters, but what makes this theme park so good? So far we don't know too much about Lost Island theme park, however off the concept art it looks like this is going to feature a lot of theming along with coasters, flat rides and also water rides. It also got mentioned that we could be expecting 5 different areas, and so far it's quite hard to see what they will be, but as mentioned at the start, the theme park will hold 3 different roller coasters, with one being a wacky worm and the other two being relocated, and as much as these will be on the rougher side, it will still made for a great top two. 
Number 3. Sunak Cultural Tourism City Another Chinese theme park to make the list will arguably have the best coaster collection in the country, and that's due to the stand-up coaster being a Mack Hyper Coaster. And so far, the company had bought three of these, with two of them being a clone. However, I think this coaster will be more along the lines of DC Wells Hyper Coaster, and if this is correct, this could become the best roller coaster in China. However, the other three roller coasters will still be really good, with one of those being a Mack Power Splash, and this will be the first of its kind in China, and the other coaster worth talking about will be a Mara Spinning Coaster. This will be very unique due to having a non-inverted loop. So with all of that, there isn't much more to say about this incredible theme park. Number 2. Lottie World Adventure Busan Magic Forest Between this and the top spot, there wasn't much competition, however due to the number 1 spot having a bit more to offer, I had to place this theme park at number 2, however that's not to say it's bad. To start off with, it will have one of the best top 2 roller coasters in the world, with a matte launch coaster and also a matte power splash, and in my opinion this is more of enough of a reason to visit this theme park. However beside the coasters, this will also have some incredible theming, and this is something which is done really well throughout the continent, and this theme park is no different. So with an amazing top 2 and also theming, it's definitely worth taking a trip up to South Korea. Number 1 Nickelodeon Universe From the success of the two Nickelodeon Universe parks in North America, they decided once again to expand abroad to an international theme park, and this will fall under the name of the Nickelodeon Universe, and as much as this will have the exact same name, the park will also have its differences, with the most notable being Turbo Turtle Power. This intimate launch coaster will have an amazing layout with also a ton of airtime, but the park will also have three other roller coasters, with two of them being built by Intamin, and the last one being built by Mara Rides. So overall, Nickelodeon Universe looks like one amazing theme park and definitely a place which I'd like to try out in the near future. So there you have it, my top 10 most anticipated theme parks opening in 2022. I hope you have enjoyed this video and if you have, make sure to leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.